Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Snap-On Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? He was dressed like 1950, half drunk and hollow-eyed. He said it's a long walk to Nashville, would you like to ride? Sure. So today I just thought I'd show you a couple tools uh, that I got in and some other cool things that came in for me. So the first thing <clears throat> that we got, I picked this up from Jason, oh fuck, last week or something like that. It's the Snap-on long uh, cabinet style screwdrivers. And <clears throat> with these, I don't know if they work really good on like automotive type purposes. I just wanted really long screwdrivers. Um, I figured you could use them to like pick shit up maybe or uh, you know just different type of stuff so uh, the part number is SGDXL 80 BG and I think the color just BG is for green so we'll open these up here and take a look at these oh, oh. you know so as you can see you get uh, four uh, screwdrivers uh, four of each. So this is the Phillips. And that's a long motherfucker. I mean, Jesus, God. And you get uh, four straights um, cabinet screwdrivers. Now, what I don't like about these cabinet screwdrivers is they don't have the damn thing on there to get extra torque. But maybe you're not uh, supposed to do that uh, with these. I really don't fucking know. What the fuck? Oh, shit, I'm in here. So, um, I got these. I asked Jason to get them for me on a deal. So, I waited till uh, they came around on a deal uh, to get these. Well, these are all the same size. They're just, no, this one's 3 16 And then this one is, so they're all 7 seconds. the straight bladed ones are, till you get to the small one. Uh, I'd say that's about uh, maybe 6 and a half. Uh, so we'll call it seven inches. Uh, let's see what this one is. You get a number one, and then I bet the rest are, yep, number two, number two, and number two. So uh, that's what we got there. Just some long handled screwdriver or long bladed screwdrivers. I thought they were cool. Uh, you know, we got to take them out of this case and then foam up the box and all that bullshit. But I thought it was a cool little set. Um, you know, just to have long screwdrivers. You never know when you got to reach down into something with all this shit being so tight. I think these would be good for like interior work and stuff like that. If you had to go like, th you know, because everything has a fucking fastener that's hidden. So, uh, those, I thought those were pretty cool. <clears throat> so, the next thing uh, we got is another specialty tool for working on the trucks. And what we have here is what they call a gunite slack adjuster. Okay, uh, there's a bunch of different types. This is an automatic slack adjuster. Uh, you guys might, in the big truck world, you'd understand what this is. But a lot of times, no matter how hard you grease them, down here in the splines, these things get stuck on there. So I went back to Tiger Tools because I love their specialty tools for big trucks. Uh, the stuff that they have uh, works awesome. I haven't had a problem with any of it, and it really does work. It's, this is not a commercial for fucking Tiger Tools or anything like that. Ugh. So, get rid of that. What this is, is a Gunite Burner Bendix Automatic Slack Adjuster uh, Puller and it's 104409 here so we'll open this up oh motherfucker it's got all these staples in it i hate fucking staples you know great for manufacturers it's faster than tape but boy it holds shit and i have a feeling this stuff is this thing weighs seven pounds okay So how this works is, as you can see, it's always in this like hammer powder coated finish. Okay, and then it has a jack screw on there. 
Okay, and this goes into the S cam. All right, and then you can use a half inch impact to run this off, and it has this bolt here. So you put this uh, slack adjuster in the slack adjuster holder, and then you put the bolt in just like that. Okay, and then what you can do is you can run this in, and it pulls the whole slack adjuster off. Uh, it makes it a lot easier because um, if these things get wedged on there, oh my god, you know, so you, you basically have to cut the slack adjuster off or something like that. But uh, I do believe this tool is like $234 on Amazon. Um, I just thought it would be a good thing to have because I know that the Western Star sat in a field for five years and I'm sure every one of these goddamn slack adjusters that I got to take off to do the S cams are fucking welded on there. So I thought this thing uh, would be a good tool to have. And now that we got that, we are set up for uh, Monday of next week to go ahead and uh, we're going to do the brake jobs on that. And I'm going to show you guys that and also how to use uh, this tool uh, when we go to that. But Oh yeah guys, and I forgot one thing. Uh, my Snap-on guy Jason hooked me up with the Snap-on key box and I got it in here. I just have a couple keys in it, but I asked him to get me this BA item. Uh, I really enjoyed that key, or this key box and all that stuff. And so I thought I'd show you guys this. I already got it mounted up here and all that stuff. So. Got it me a fucking snap-on key box, fellas. I like that BA item. All right, uh, well, two more things. There's two things that I'm looking for, okay? Uh, I am looking for a yellow-handled, uh, one of the new snap-on yellow-handle, uh, long-handled flex-head ratchets in yellow, and I'm looking for the screwdriver set. So if there's any dealers out there uh, that would like to contact me, uh, you get a hold of me in my email address. I'd love that. And also, uh, the Snap-on Dixon flannels are coming out. So if there's any other, also any dealers out there, or any of you guys out there that are watching, uh, get a hold of the junkie through my email. Um, I wear a 2X flannel. I want, uh, you know, a couple of those Dixon flannels. I like Dixon flannels. Um, you know, I've had some in the past, and they are really awesome. So if there's any dealers out there that get the extra BA items, uh, the reason I'm asking about the yellow handle screwdriver is, is my dealer did not get any at the tool show, and I want the yellow handle screwdriver set basically just to collect, but the uh, yellow handled ratchet I want, and uh, you know just to have. But so you guys can get a hold of me in uh, the email. The links are in every description of the video. Other than that, that's about all that I got. I do have some more things on order. Um, it's just going to take a little bit to get here because I bought them in the tool show and they come in at specific weeks. So, uh, you know, that's really all I got for today's video. Uh, like always, guys, visit my Patreon account. We keep adding people to that. I'm super excited. If you guys are on the Patreon account, uh, you know, probably after Labor Day weekend, we're going to start asking uh, what's the first tool you guys want reviewed on that channel. And uh, we'll go from there. You know, nothing else is really going on. Uh, just, you know, out here trying to make it with these damn trucks and shit like that. But anyway, uh, like always, guys, I hope you enjoyed these tools that I got. Uh, check out my Instagram page. Uh, and uh, the Snap-on Junkie on Facebook and the Snap-on Collectors Group on Facebook. Uh, I, I could be reached through all those. And uh, like always, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I gotta fucking go.